back at Taco Bell Arena and we had a great spirited practice. We got on the charter and uh, it was a quick flight, so pretty good, pretty good day. What's the last, uh, you know, 24 hours or so been like trying to prepare and do this stuff well, with such a quick turnaround? Yeah, it's always had to, but nowadays it's a lot easier because you got a lot more access to film as far as you know, in the old days you used, used to have to fly it in on a prop plane and uh, now, now you can just get right on there and get as much film as you need. What else do you know about Dayton maybe now that you didn't know yesterday when we talked to you? Uh, they, they, they're an aggressive team that can attack. You know, they, they got a bunch of guys that can ball and they get to the rim and they can. Uh, they got a lot of guys that can do that. The, you know, how's the team kind of approaching this fact that it is a road game? And I know some of the fans back yeah. in Boise are pretty upset about it being basically a road game for you guys. How do you guys approach that? Do you, do you feel slightly well, I think or what's the? You know, nothing's changed in that way in the fact that it, it is what it is, and we're more worried about our opponent than we are the, the circumstances of who we play and where we play them. And, uh, you know, our opponent's going to drive a hard bargain whether we play them, you know, down at the park or here in Dayton. It doesn't matter. And, and you know, so that's our focus. It's not, you know, we can't control any of the other factors, and we're just going to go out and play our best. What's the excitement level just being here and seeing the signs? Uh, and stuff it's and a, you know, Dayton does such a great job with this, this event, and that's why it is here, and that's why it should be here. So, uh, you know, it does, it gives you the atmosphere of the NCAA tournament, and it's an exciting time. So how many games have you watched of their film, or are you looking at clips? Or what yeah, you know, the, the, we, you know, Coach Linder does uh, does their defense, and Coach Henderson does all their offense, and John does the personnel, and then I watch as many games as I can, and so we're up to about five right now. So you watch them on the plane then? Or? Yeah, oh yeah, you get, you know, that's a beauty of it, it's pretty accessible. Uh, they're a great team. They're a really good team. So well coached, so disciplined. Uh, they do a lot of lot of things that frustrate teams, I think. And but like I said, they got a lot of guys that can get to the rim and get in the paint. What's kind of the mindset of the team being here? You just the, the focus uh, too early to yeah, tell at this point. Yeah, I think you know the, the, the great thing about it is it's our second trip in, in three years, and and so your focus changes, and and you know. I think maybe your first time you're a little wide-eyed and, and looking around. Now you're, you know, we're, we've done it before and we're excited for the basketball. It seems like the two teams in this game have a bit of a chip on their shoulder. I know Dayton felt that they maybe should have been at higher seed. Yeah. You guys obviously have to go into a road atmosphere. I mean, what, what's that, that matchup kind of like? seems like both teams do have that on their shoulders. And is that safe to say about your team? Yeah, you know, and we've, well, we've played that way the last 17 games. And, and we've played pretty good basketball. And uh, so, you know, I, I don't think... You know, you get to the NCAA tournament, you don't need that outside motivation. You know, it's exciting to be in this event, and, you know, we want to we wanna make our mark on it. So what's today kind of been like for you guys, uh, you know, this quick turnaround and everything like that? Uh, how have you guys tried to approach it? Um, it's been great. We had a, a good practice earlier. I uh, went to class, uh, you know, and then we had this, this flight. It was nice. <laughs> but it's just exciting. Um, we got off the bus, and there was a lot of people here. I didn't expect this many fans to be here. How was the flight? That was good. I don't know. I stepped all the time. <laughs> What's kind of the mindset of the team coming in here? Obviously, it's still about 48 hours till, uh, till game time. Um, it's a business trip. We're here on a mission, and we know what we have to do. It's going to be like a road game. It, it, it is like a road game. I mean, do you guys, you know, I don't know if you feel slighted, or what's the approach that you guys have knowing that, you know, it's a rarity to be in this situation? Um, I mean, I haven't really paid, paid any mind to it. Uh, I just take it as another game. It's going to be tough. Uh, we have to go out there and play our game. With that being said, if we play our game, I think we'll have a good chance of winning. I don't think they have a guy over 6'6 six, six yes. that plays much for them. Uh, not very often, like, you and Nick, you guys have more size than the other team. What What are your thoughts, I guess, maybe having a little size on, on them? Um, I mean, I think they're here for a reason. They did, they did some good things for their team, apparently. So uh, we just have to approach them as regular high people. Um, they're, they're a little scrappy team, so we just have to be mindful of that. You guys, I mean, do you have a chip on your shoulders, kind of knowing this is going to be a road game? And you, you guys, are pro how, do you, how, how are you attacking that, that mentality? I think so. I mean, uh, they have the home court advantage and stuff like that. So I think it'll be fun. It's going to be a great road game. It's going to be like New Mexico, UNLV, San Diego State, things like that. So 
it would just be a great game. We talked a lot you know, about your season, what it means to you and stuff, but for you to, to be here and be in the tournament and get a chance to, to be on the stage on Wednesday night, what does this mean to you personally? Um, it's just another goal that I can check off my list. Uh, we have we have a great team and we have a, a bunch of guys that, that aren't ready to be done yet. You've, you've been around, obviously, Derek, since Friday, and I know Friday wasn't his best game and stuff, and he's under, he's under such a microscope. How, how has he been since then? Do you feel him a little more fired up, or what's he been like? Uh, I mean, he's been the same. Well, not the same since Friday, but uh, we had we went out to eat and been talking a little bit. I told him just not to worry about it and things like that. Uh, just play your game, and like, we have your back regardless, no matter what happens. So He doesn't have too many, very many bad games, so I guess you would expect that. Yeah, I don't, I don't expect it at all. I don't think all the boys expect it either. So.